Hey friends, my name is Amy Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and another video about saving, budgeting and hitting those financial goals. Before we get into that stuff, I do have one very exciting announcement. The tangents that nobody asked for journals are now officially for sale. Yay! When it came down to it, I could not pick which design I liked best, so I decided let's just print all of them and then you guys can just choose whichever one takes your fancy the most. We have this blue one, which gives me real like, I'm on the beach, travel, Hawaii type vibes. We have the moon one with the navy and the gold. This rose gold marble effect one. And then, of course, the cactus. I love them. I love the way they turned out. Obviously, they all say tangents that nobody asked for on the front and then odd squad on the back. They say you are enough just as you are. And then inside, you just have plain lines to write all your tangents, whatever you want. But there are some inspirational quotes that I have printed on some of the pages just as a little surprise feel inspired today. These are available right now on Amazon. I will link them in the description box down below if you would like to go get one. I would really appreciate you supporting me in that way. Also, as a big thank you for you guys always being so kind and supportive and just like the best internet friends that I could ask for, I would like to give away one each of these journals. So to enter, all you have to do is like be on the odd squad like be subscribed and then leave a comment down below letting me know which design you like best and what is something that you always go off on a tangent and talk to people about i've got quite a few of those i'll pick four winners next friday and then i will send you out your beautiful new journals anyway let's get into the crux of today's video i asked you guys if you wanted an update on the way that i've switched up how I'm managing my finances because I've done a complete overhaul and it's got a little bit more complicated and you guys were interested to know how I am managing my money right now, how I'm like putting aside money for savings, like the whole shebang. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. If you guys are interested in these kinds of videos and you haven't already, then go ahead and subscribe, join the odd squad and uh, yeah, let's talk about this. But first, coffee. So the system that I recently just adopted is based on a system by T. Harv Ecker. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he's got this book called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And in that book, he has this JAWS system for managing your money. And it's kind of similar to the system I was working on before in that you have different pots or different jars of money for specific things and that way you know how much money you have for instance allocated to like day-to-day -day living you have you know how much is allocated to long-term savings and I love that way of working but this is a little bit more complicated than what I was doing before there are more jars there are more different things going on and it's a little bit more mathematically minded than what I was doing in the past. Now I will just stop here and say if you are new to budgeting then I don't recommend this system okay because it is a little bit more complicated. I'll link my budgeting for beginners video down below um, and I think that that's a really easy great place to start but I'm up for a challenge so I'm upgrading to this. So it works like this in T. Harv Ecker or whatever his name is in his jars system there are six different jars so you have necessities and you put in 55 percent of your earnings each month into that jar for necessities and that's going to be things like food petrol for your car rent or your mortgage payments things that you actually need to function in your life then you have your long-term savings for spending so that's going to be things like saving for a holiday saving for a new car maybe a rainy day fund money that you're putting aside with the view that eventually you will be spending it on something that's more of a big ticket item so for your long-term savings for spending you take 10 percent of what you earn every month and put it into that jar then you have the play jar which is things like going out for dinner going to the theater um anything that's just like a treat for yourself and that is another 10 percent of your monthly earnings that goes in that jar. Another 10% from each month goes into the education jar. And this is gonna be money that you can set aside for things like courses, 
um, books that are going to help you to build your skills, maybe getting a coach if you're starting your own business, maybe you need a business coach. You put another 10% each month into your financial freedom account and this is more like your long term savings. This is going to be money that you are investing in some way, if that's like buying a rental property or investing it in stocks and shares or even just putting it into like a high interest bank account, you know, this is like long term savings. And then the final 5% goes into your gift jar and this is going to be money that you give to charity or you donate to places or it's just money that you give to people because giving is a good thing to do. I don't know what else to say about that. I really like the idea of this system because firstly I already know that I work well, my brain just works well with the idea of having different money allocated to different things and having like different amounts readily available to spend depending on the category but this is just kind of like taking that system that I was using before and breaking it down into even more categories so instead of taking you know pretty much everything out of my day-to-day -day spending fund now I have specific money for educational purposes I have specific money that I can use to donate to charity and that just makes me feel like I'm a little bit more in control of the places where my money is going. However, because I am a, a control freak and also because my income situation is kind of all over the place, I decided that I was going to tweak the system slightly. So I kind of like took his idea and made it my own. So what I have right now is a general day-to-day -day jar which is 45% of my monthly earnings. That actually incorporates my necessary expenses, like the ones that you need to do to just get through life, as well as kind of like more day-to-day -day luxury expenses like going out for dinner because I don't have a huge amount right now, I'm very lucky, of big monthly expenses like I paid for my car up front I don't have any car payments paid for my tax up front on my car so I don't have to pay for that monthly like all these different things they're not coming out monthly like I've already paid for them in advance so for me using the 45% as just like a general catch-all works and everybody's different so this is why it's nice to be able to tweak things like this to make it work for your circumstances next I also have 10% of my monthly income going towards my save to spend fund. I also put in 10% of my monthly income into my education jar, 5% into my giving jar to give to charity, and then 10% into my long-term savings and my investments. But here's another place where it's a little bit different to the original, is that I put aside 20% of each month's income for tax. I've been caught out by HMRC at the end of the tax year before my friends and I am not doing that again. Now if you are self-employed, if you are getting any money from like some kind of side hustle then you're gonna get taxed on it and you need to have that money ready to go. Now this system um, like I've been using it for a, a month so I can't really say oh long term it's working out great but so far it's working for me. It's a little bit more tricky in my situation because I don't earn a consistent monthly salary that's the same each month. Um, my earnings from month to month can be vastly different. So what I did is I made myself a spreadsheet, obviously, and I put in all the formulas. So all I have to do is at the beginning of the month put in how much I earned last month and it'll work out how would I divide that money up? There is a lot less of a focus on long-term savings in this system compared to my old system and that works for me where I am right now because I spent four years really 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 focusing on saving. So if saving is your priority right now I wouldn't necessarily go for this method. I don't think it's the best method for stashing aside lots of money in your savings. Um, the method that I used, which again I'll link down below, was what I used for four years, got me out of debt, set me up, and now I have enough savings that I feel like, yeah, okay, now I can, you know, pull back, press the brakes a little bit, don't need to be saving as frantically as I have been in the past, you know, I can give myself a little bit more lead, 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 leeway. But like with anything to do with, well, anything in life, it's so specific to you and your situation. So, you know, if you like the idea of this system, but you feel like you need to tweak it a little bit, 
I did, and it's working for me, just go with what resonates with you, right? Like if you feel like, oh, actually, I'm going to need a little bit more money for education and maybe a little bit less money for my day-to-day -day living, then just play around with the numbers. Like it's not hard and fast, it's not set in stone that this is the only way to do it. Make it work for you. Okay, I think that's all I have to say about that, she says, having said a million things about it. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I get that this is uh, talking about money just generally can be quite confusing and I know I've thrown a lot of numbers at you today but hopefully it has helped you. Also don't forget to comment down below to enter my giveaway for one of these beautiful journals. But yeah, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that I love you all so much and you are enough just as you are. Bye guys!